assalamu alaikum today's video is about the bronchitis but before we look into the bronchitis we will first see what is the tracheobronchial tree it is actually a system of airways which allows the passage of air into the lungs we inhale the oxygen rich air through our nostrils or through our mouth which then reaches into the pharynx and passes down the trachea and ultimately reach the lungs the trachea which is the part of the lower respiratory system starts after the pharynx and it divides into two principal bronchi entering into each lung and the each principal bronchus divides into lower bronchi entering into each lobe of the lung and each lower bronchus divides into the segmental bronchi entering into different segments of the lung and then these segmental bronchi continue to divide and finally give off smaller sac like structures called the alveoli and it is the, uh, in these alveoli that the actual exchange of uh, gases takes place. Now the bronchitis. Bronchitis is the inflammation of uh, the lining of bronchial tubes which causes the narrowing of uh, the lumen. As you can clearly see in this picture on the right hand side is a normal bronchial tube with no inflammation and uh, with wide lumen. And on the left hand side is a, is an inflamed bronchial tube with the presence of inflammation which decreases the lumen of the bronchial tube and due to the inflammation and mucus production the flow of air through these bronchial tubes is uh, very difficult the causes of uh, bronchitis include the viruses include the influenza a influenza b coronavirus and uh, etc bacteria may also cause the bronchitis it may also be caused due to the inhalation of the fumes or the dust which uh, may irritate the lining of the bronchial tubes and cause the inflammation and uh, excess mucus production it may also be caused due to the gastroesophageal reflux disease in which the gastric contents move up into the esophagus and may reach up to the pharynx and uh, cause inflammation of the pharynx uh, irritation of the ph pharynx and then inflame the uh, lining of the pharynx and uh, ultimately can cause the bronchitis the types include the acute bronchitis which is mostly caused due to the viruses and it may last up to 10 to 14 days the chronic bronchitis is defined as the presence of cough and the mucus production for at least three months in each of the two consecutive years and uh, this can cause the airflow obstruction in the pathophysiology of acute bronchitis the causes lead to the irritation of bronchial lining and uh, due to this there is increased mucus production and uh, edema of the bronchial lining which uh, decreases the bronchial mucociliary function in the uh, bronchial lining are present and the, uh, the very tiny cilia which continually move and uh, uh, remove the inhaled particles including the pathogens foreign particles before they can uh, reach the delicate tissues of the lungs but due to this uh, diminished activity of these cilia there is clogging of the airways due to the debris and uh, the inflammation and in the pathophysiology of the uh, chronic bronchitis there is the uh, the causes lead to the increased oxidative citrus and inflammatory mediators which uh, damage the tissue there and uh, can cause the uh, fibrosis and thickening of the airways and uh, leading to the narrowing of uh, these inflamed airways and this causes the airway obstruction and finally uh, causes the chronic bronchitis the first and the most important clinical manifestation in the bronchitis is the cough which may on or may not produce the phlegm the second is the chest discomfort because we continuously struggle uh, to inhale the uh, oxygen rich gas which is a uh, which is uh, difficult due to the inflammation and excess mucus production of the bronchial tubes there may be the headache and malice malice is the general feeling of the uh, illness and there may be the uh, presence of wheezing which is caused due to the excess mucus production and it is a high pitched whistling sound and looks like this mm -hmm. 
now how can we diagnose the bronchitis we have to obtain the complete history from the patient and uh, perform a physical assessment which mainly focuses on the respiratory system we can use the pulse oximetry to check the level of oxygen in the blood we can use the pulmonary function test to know how well the lungs are functioning we can use the chest x-ray and we can use the sputum culture to know if these signs and symptoms are caused due to the bacterial infection the medical management includes advising the patient to drink plenty of fluids because this uh, makes the mucus thin and uh, makes its uh, passage through the bronchial tubes uh, easy and we can easily cuff up this uh, uh, thinned up mucus the patient is advised to take the rest over the counter pain relievers like the aspirin or the estaminophen may be used to relieve the symptoms and in severe cases the bronchodilators are used the bronchodilators may be taken uh, through the nebulizer or may be taken through the uh, inhalation inhalation of the powdered medication and what does this bronch these bronchodilators do these uh, dilate the inflamed uh, bronchial tubes making the passage of air through them easy we can use the steroids like the hydrocortisone or the dexamethasone to decrease the inflammation of the bronchial tubes and uh, for the bacterial cause of uh, bronchitis we can use the antibiotics in the nursing management of patient with bronchitis the most important step is to maintain a patent airway because the patient is uh, having difficulty in breathing maintaining a patent airway can ease the breathing for the patient and can improve the levels of oxygen in the blood escalating the lungs we have to escalate the lungs of the patient for uh, any adventitious sounds or we can evaluate the uh, effectiveness of medications by escalating lungs before giving the medication and after giving the medication assessing the change in the mental status because the breathing in uh, bronchitis uh, is very difficult and less oxygen is uh, present inside the blood therefore less oxygen uh, reaches the brain which may manifest in the form of mental confusion disorientation and other changes in the mental status noting the uh, readings of the arterial blood gases to know, to know about the levels of oxygen carbon dioxide and the ph level of the blood finally we have to educate the patient about the disease process what to expect and the importance of following the medical treatment thank you that was all about the bronchitis